Hi, my name's Morag and I am the Learning Officer for the Museum of Richmond. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a friendship bracelet just like this one using Anglo-Saxon braiding techniques. So who were the Anglo-Saxons? Well, the Romans left Britain in 410 AD, their empire was getting too big and they had to be called back to Rome so that they could defend it from Germanic tribes. Meanwhile, this left Britain defenceless and other Germanic tribes came over and these were the Angles and the Saxons. They came to use the land for farming, but also to take advantage of its rich resources. But how do we know about the Anglo-Saxons when it was so long ago? Well, we have evidence collected from archaeologists. They have excavated burial sites, for instance, and often it was the case that people were buried with their most prized possessions. Evidence includes things like coins and brooches, but also there were found looms and needles and spindles, all evidence in those last three that the Anglo-Saxons were really interested and really good at different textiles. In fact, they loved to decorate their clothes with plaiting and braiding of coloured thread. We also have evidence of the Anglo-Saxons from something called the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles, and these are written records that date back to the 9th century. So, what happened to them? Well, the Norman Conquest in 1066 defeated the Anglo-Saxons, but that is another story. Time to make our friendship bracelet. First of all, we're going to be making our braiding wheel. So you need to start by drawing a circle on a piece of card and you can draw around an object like a glass. You need to cut out your circle very carefully so that you've got the beginning of your braiding wheel. Now you need to find the center and draw a little dot because you're going to pierce the center so there's a hole in the middle. To make this hole, you can put blue tack underneath and then gently using a biro, you can press through the hole and the hole is made. Now you need to divide your braiding wheel into eighths. So you can start by dividing your wheel into quarters. So use a ruler and draw a straight line through the circle here and turn it around another straight line going straight through the circle. You now have your wheel in quarters. To make it into eighths, you're going to do a diagonal line across through the circle and another diagonal line through here. So your wheel should be looking something like this. Now we're going to concentrate on the beginning of each of these lines. You need to get your ruler and measure one centimetre into each line. Once you have done that, you are going to use your scissors and you're going to carefully snip, just cut a little line into each of these dark lines all the way around. A little cut all the way around your wheel. Now the fun part. You have your wool ready. This should be about 40 centimeters long and there needs to be seven strands. You need to tie a knot in the end of the wool. Using your braiding wheel you are going to feed this knot through the center. And start pulling it down. Okay. So now we pull our knot to the top and we're going to start braiding. So we need to line up our wheel. We're going to thread each piece of wool into every slot apart from the slot at the top.
Okay, so you must leave the slot at the top. Now, when we're doing our braiding, you need to look for, on the right hand side, the lower right string. And you're going to take this string and you're going to put it in the top. Then you need to turn your wheel around so that the top is empty again. Then you take your bottom right string, put it in the top, spin around, bottom right, thread it in the top, spin around, bottom right, pop it in the top, spin it around. You're now doing your braiding, so keep going and keep going and eventually you'll start to see that you've got this lovely braid coming through. When you think it is long enough to become a bracelet, you're going to unpick all of the wool from your braiding wheel. So just pull it out of the slots. And gently pull it through the center. Ooh, this way around. Now I don't want to lose my lovely braiding, so I'm going to do a knot here at the end. Then I'm also going to do another knot really close to that. So this is the knot that's protecting my braiding. I'm also going to do another knot quite close to that. Now the second knot makes the fastener. You should have a little hole ready for you to fasten this knot into it, making it into your bracelet. Ta-da! Well done, I hope you had fun making your Anglo-Saxon friendship bracelet. Perhaps now you could make another one for a friend.